Hello chess friends and welcome to the Zara of Chess channel and welcome to a very sharp game that I prepared for you today. It's again a great game played by top engines in really this beautiful and tactical opens that we can choose in an early stage of the game and we have recently covered many great openings. For instance we have covered the King's Gambit, Danish Gambit, the Fried Liver Attack and really 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 this beautiful romantic era chess openings but what we haven't covered so far is a Stafford Gambit game and that's uh, uh, the beauty of this video because we'll have now the Stafford Gambit in top engine level. So uh, Lila C0 won the super event uh, so the engines had to play only the Stafford Gambit and the Lila C0 won the super event with a clear domination in front of Stockfish which is really wild when you think about it harder uh, Stockfish is of course a great tactical beast but uh, Lila C0 simply won this event and that's why I decided to cover a great game here by Lila C0 with the white pieces against another top engine Stofflis in the Stafford Gambit so the problem I think in this Stafford Gambit uh, it is playable maybe the human level there are beautiful lines uh, in which you can really surprise your opponent in an early stage of the game but it seems to me that in this top engine level this Stafford Gambit is not playable anymore uh, I'm sure that you have followed maybe Eric Rosen's chess channel and he covered really some beautiful tactical lines uh, for black and you can maybe as I said use this element sometimes in order to surprise your opponent but it seems to me that it's simply not working in this top engine level because there were simply no games in which black won for the whole tournament no winning games for black in the Stafford Gambit so as I said it is a beautiful Beautiful opening but it has of course its problems in an early stage of the game so let's check out the one great game in order to also praise a little bit Lila c0 for winning this super super event so here Lila opened with the move e4 we have uh, e5 but still flays knight to f3 uh, we have knight to f6 the russian game is on the board and here after move knight to e5 black has to play i think something like knight to e4 uh, knight takes e4 or simply play uh here the move d6 and then afterwards the move knight to e4 but the stafford gambit move is this move knight to c6 where he gave up simply a pawn here from black's perspective and of course most of the times you see simply this line knight takes c6 and now there are basically two good ways here of course for black black can take with the d pawn or with, can take with the b pawn many times in my opinion if you're playing the stafford gambit here from black's perspective in my opinion it seems to me that it is simply better to take out here with the d pawn because of one particular uh, problem for white because there are always at least some tensions here on the default so at least the queen gets activated that's in my opinion a simply slightly better way if you're of course are trying to play the Stafford Gambit I'm recommending you to take with the d pawn but in this particular uh, case here still play simply took with the b pawn you can be the judge of this uh, ideas in my opinion as I said after d takes c6 at least the queen gets liberated somehow and the queen uh, gets more active but okay here uh, b takes c6 was played here by this other uh, top engine still place we have now knight to c3 by lila c0 and now after bishop to b4 we have of course this tension we want to take bishop takes c3 and then knight takes e4 so that's why here e5 immediately by lila c0 we have queen to e7 so now stiflet is trying to activate the queen by using the spin on the e file here in the continuation we have queen to e2 and now knight to d5 we have here knight takes d5 c takes d5 and uh, in this whole tournament uh, many times this line has been played uh, even by stockfish here from white perspective even by stockfish by uh, from black perspective so many times the engines choose to play this particular line i'm not sure why because there are really beautiful uh, sidelines for white and for black so as i said i think the most of uh, most of the times this particular line has been chosen by the stop engine uh by the stop engines after move c takes d5 we have now the normal idea c3 what we want to do is of course fix now our pawn here with the move d4 and in my opinion it seems to me that's already something went wrong here for black because uh, white can regroup many times when you play this gambit for instance like the king's gambit Gambit, when you play maybe some Evans Gambit or maybe some other Gambits from Black's perspective you gain at least something, you gain uh, some kind of a piece activity, maybe you can get the pawn sector control, you know when you play e4 and then e5 then f4, f4, e takes f4 at least white gets a central uh, domination but it seems to me that black doesn't gain anything for this particular sacrifice of the pawn in an early stage of the game so here I think uh, white still, uh, still has a great activity, after move c3 you see bishop to a5 and now d4, uh, white regroup, white has now a compact position in the center so it is as i said in my opinion nothing special here for for black so here in the continuation we have now castling if you play d6 that is not possible maybe to challenge here somehow uh white on the e file it's not possible first of all to get this one queen to b5 and even if you try to challenge the position with the move f6 
6 immediately it's again not so good because we can simply take and simplify the game and go into an end game move of course with up some materials so that's why after move uh, d4 here uh to place simply castled will rely simply now maybe on the rook activity because the main issue that i think white has here is of course this weird queen position which is standing of course in front of the, uh, the, the bishop so the bishop cannot be developed for no more squares the bishop cannot come maybe on the most natural square on d3 so that's why uh white needs now to prepare queenside castle if white doesn't want to play again with the queen because there is of course this simple rule in the chat which says we shouldn't play it uh, with the same piece twice if not necessary so that's why what uh, lila Cezur is trying to do is develop some somewhere the bishop and then castle even queenside so then of course we'll use simply this four versus three pawn majority because that's actually the, uh, the side that we should attack because we have here a dominant position on the king side so uh, what white is hoping for is to push pawns f4 f5 g4 g5 g6, uh, g6 f6 so simply uh creating this madness on the king side by pushing some pawns so after move uh, king side castling we have now queen to b5 attacking the bishop bishop to b6 and here c lila c0 takes another pawn really really already it seems to me that something went wrong as i said uh here for for black so after move rook to b8 uh, of course the preparation is to play bishop to b7 attacking the queen now lila c0 plays on a fast development wants to now finally castle on the queen side we have uh, bishop to b7 and now bishop to c4 queen to h4 uh, even if you try maybe here some moves like c5 uh, to challenge finally maybe this could be also an opportunity at least my stockfish engine at home suggests this move but again it doesn't bring i think so much we can play d5 you can maybe play d6 but again queenside casting is perfectly fine after uh here d takes e5 okay black again the pawn but we can play simply bishop to e3 and you see now this is a very annoying pawn still you cannot push something like f5 because you get d6 and this mobility of this pawn on the d file is i think uh, a strategical uh, disadvantage here for black in the continuation we can also try g3 bishop to g2 even f4 maybe rook to e1 i think there is now a fast way how white will group and will activate all of the pieces so that could be actually maybe even the best continuation here for black but unfortunately here queen to h4 was played by um by stoflace here bishop to g3 simply kicking away the queen and here stoflace idea was simply to prevent uh lila c0 from castling here on uh, on the queen side uh, here stoflace is trying now to stay active with the queen and he's finally trying maybe to uh open now finally the position with move d6 or f6 then rook to e8 and then open uh, an attack against the uh, white uncastled king so that's why lila c0 plays now some passive moves just in order to regroup queen to d3 queen to e6 uh we see now b3 and now finally this move c5 here d5 this is a great way uh, here by lila c0 to lock the position because if you castle i think immediately then of course we can take take and now uh, there are some open files here you see bishop to d5 will happen rook to c8 although you didn't lose a pawn here but uh, in this particular scenario actually it's black that's much much better by opening here the c file so that's why here a really tricky way by lila c0 how to not allow here uh to place to open the position sacrificing a pawn back after bishop to be uh, bishop takes d5 now queenside castling and at least in this particular scenario lila c0 gained another tempo against the bishop and here still flays tried now a desperate move bishop takes b3 although probably bishop to c6 is much much better but now i think again f4 is a possibility f5 even queen to d6 is perfectly fine to simplify the game uh eventually so as i said here it's already plus 2.5 position here for white so after move bishop to b3 a desperate try here as i said uh, by still flays uh, sacrificing the bishop just in order to you open some files open some diagonals we have a takes b3 queen to b3 queen to c2 queen to uh, a3 a check queen to b2 and again here queen to a4 uh stoflace is trying of course to stay with the queen on the a file where uh, the queen can deliver some checks we have bishop to b5 again a little c0 kicks away the queen we have queen to a5 and now bishop to c4 bishop to c7 and now queen to uh, queen to c2 here d5 by um still flace so flace is trying now of course again to open some files uh, at least to activate somehow the rooks if you play queen to a1 it's not so dangerous at least in the beginning it seems that it's a dangerous move but actually the queen to d2 nothing dramatically changed because here still it's a good protection on the d6 square still you cannot attack the king uh, by some attacks on the default and you have to move the queen because of course the queen is under fire so no rook to b2 threats are there because first of all you have to move the queen then you can maybe uh, think about this move rook to b2 but meanwhile <coughs> pardon me of course 
white is regrouping white will then eventually compete with its rooks on the b file so that's why this is not possible so in the continuation we have now d5 we have uh, e takes d6 bishop to d6 bishop takes d6 again sacrificing move but again still place is trying desperately some uh just some uh, opening files ideas here rook to d8 we have rook to d3 great here rook lift you see now an importance of this rook lift by by lila c0 we have queen to a3 king to d1 and here rook to b2 uh here we have bishop to c5 great defensive move uh if you of course take uh the bishop then we simply take out the rook if you try something like rook to d3 then we can play bishop to d3 still the queen is hanging and it seems so that after the queen uh, move queen to a1 uh here after queen to c1 that actually white is losing because of rook to b1 but actually with the move bishop to d3 everything is covered so no tactical threats here on the first rank rook to b1 is not a possibility and it's of course game over here for black black had some fun with a couple of checks but nothing more than that so uh here after move bishop to c5 we have now queen to a1 we have queen to c1 again uh trying these ideas still you cannot play rook to b1 we have seen uh this particular con continuation after rook takes d3 then bishop to d3 then you cannot play rook to b1 if you play of course rook to b1 now then you get simply rook to d8 a uh, checkmate so that's why it's not possible here queen to a4 a, a new check we have king to e1 again a new check rook to e8 look how lila c0 defends this position rook to e3 here we have rook to d8 and now bishop to d4 locking finally the d file and here after move uh rook to rook to b8 we have now bishop to d3 we have rook to a2 and now it's time to pause the video try to see now the best continuation here for white uh, i think it's pretty much obvious that uh, white is winning here but you have to find now really the best continuation pause the video take your time and find really uh, the best move here for white i'm not sure if you can see it immediately but take your time it's uh, really a beautiful tactic so as i said um try to see the best continuation so okay here lila c0 of course the top engine found this brilliant move bishop takes h7 after king to h7 we have now rook to h3 the problem is now if you move here uh the king to g8 this wasn't the continuation but i wanted to show really this wild tactic after move king to g8 there is now really a beautiful move maybe you can pause now also the video maybe you haven't seen this tactic uh, till the end maybe you can pause now again the video i think we can use many times this beautiful chess engine games in order to improve our tactical skills so maybe it's time now for you to find the best move it's again a brilliant move so okay it's here we have a really beautiful decoy motif we have here sort of a scorpion come over here move uh we have here the possibility to play a beautiful rook to a check look at this beauty after king to a check we have now queen to h6 you cannot take because of the uh, pit by the bishop against the king you have to move the king and now queen to g7 is the checkmate really really sick sick stuff here by lila c0 that was a beautiful tactical preparation so after move rook to h3 you see uh king to g8 is not working we have a king to g6 rook to g3 king to f5 now we have a forced checkmate sequence here lila c0 plays of course the best uh moves now queen to g5 only a couple of moves you have wherever you go it's uh for checkmate we have queen to d7 rook to e7 we have king to d8 uh, now discovered uh, check we have here queen to uh king to c8 we have now a new check check and here after queen to c7 it was a checkmate so brilliant brilliant game really really uh, beautiful stuff here by lila c0 great tactics but in my opinion as, as we said uh, this bishop to b3 was a little bit unnecessary the sacrifice of the bishop uh then the game was of course a one-way ticket but as i said the whole tournament was played in no winning games for black in the stafford gambit so you can be the judge of this opening uh, uh i'm sure that you have tried it out many many times and as i said maybe this line uh to take then um d takes c6 to open somehow uh the queen's activities maybe slightly better in this particular game we have seen this continuation b takes c6 as i said i'm not a big fan of this opening because it's simply sometimes too tactical even if you play as wide there are really sharp lines which i think uh, eric rosen has shown many many times on his youtube chess channel with some beautiful tactical elements so as i said i'm not uh, still good in this opening so i will not try it even how to play but as i said it was a beautiful beautiful tournament and lila c0 won this super super event so <coughs> 
okay i hope that you enjoyed this game i really really enjoyed it a lot especially because of this decoy po possibility this rook to h uh, eight move then queen to h6 this beautiful uh, greek gift tactic with bishop to h7 really really sick stuff beautiful tactics by lila c0 so if you want to see more of this uh, beautiful tactical and positional games played by top engines check out my commented chat games played by computer series with some more games by lila zero alpha zero stalker 13 14 and many many more and if you want to see maybe humans battling it out in their best chess games check out my comment the chess games the best chess games of all time series and if you like this content don't forget to subscribe to my channel see you soon with some more videos and chess is the best of course